Morning everyone, we're at Sleeping Giant State Park right now. Uh, this is located in Hamden, which is right across from Quinnipiac State University. Uh, today we're going to be hopping on the Blue Trail, which is one of the most rugged trails over here at Sleeping Giant. Um, it's going to be passing through the tower and hopefully through the ruins and some other fun exploratory things. On the way back we're going to be hopping on the Yellow Trail and back to the parking lot. Sleeping Giant State Park is a great place for hikers of all skill levels. Over 30 miles of trails, ranging in difficulty from relaxed to strenuous, crisscross the forest and pass by unique vistas and landmarks. The Tower Trail is one of the easiest, offering a gravel path that leads directly to a stone lookout tower at the summit. The Blue Trail is known to be one of the most strenuous routes, with many parts of the trail requiring the use of hands and feet to scramble over steep, jagged trap rock. The Blue Trail spans every mountain in the string of peaks that form the figure of the sleeping giant for which the park is named. Many trails intersect one another at various points, allowing hikers to tailor a route through the park that accommodates their needs or interests. In 1911, a judge leased the land to turn part of the giant's head into a quarry for the trap rock. In 1924, the Sleeping Giant Park Association was formed to purchase the land acre by acre, and in 1933, the SGPA was finally able to put a stop to the quarrying. All right, we're still on the blue trail right now. We've got a massive drop off to our right. We've got that entire cliff that we're going to be climbing next. This is really exciting. Don't even care about the cold weather right now. We just can't wait to climb up some more. I'd like to introduce you guys to Nikki. She's joining us today for our Trails of Freedom hike at Sleeping Giant. Sleeping Giant gets its name because the mountains resemble a giant lying down on its back. According to legends, Native Americans named the giant, who is an evil spirit, Hobomok. Hobomok stamped his foot down in the area that is now known as Middletown, Connecticut. This stamping caused the Connecticut River to suddenly change course. A good spirit, named Keaton, then cast a spell on Hobomok so he would sleep forever and not cause any more damage. Hey guys, we've reached the top of the first leg of our hike. Um, we're overlooking Quinnipiac University. It's been a great hike so far, a lot of rock climbing, rock scrambling. At the summit sits a four-story lookout tower, which is on the hip of Sleeping Giant. The tower was built in the 1930s and offers 360 degree views of Connecticut. If you look to the south, you have beautiful views of Long Island Sound, New Haven County, and Quinnipiac. The north offers gorgeous views of Connecticut's landscapes. The tower features picnic benches, multiple rooms with views, and fireplaces. Hey guys, we're at the top of Sleeping Giant right now. We're at the uh, castle that's well known to many of the locals. Um, we still have a little couple more miles to go, I think, um, on the blue trail. We're going to take the blue trail down and then cut off to the yellow trail to get that back down to the parking lot. Um, it's going to be a very rocky trail, but it's going to be fun. We've been having a lot of fun. The tower turned out to be an amazing place, offering exceptional views as well as a place to unwind before continuing our hike through Sleeping Giant. We were able to rest and refuel with some snacks, and most importantly, have fun and take some photographs that will forever remind us of this amazing hike. It took us a few more hours to finish the hike. By the time we reached the parking lot, the sun was beginning to set. We also documented our hike through photographs. If you want to visit Sleeping Giant to see all the amazing things it has to offer, it's located in Hamden, Connecticut, and the park is open from 8 a.m. to sunset year-round.